that poverty is the state of mind. 100%. It only manifests into a physical form. It only takes mm. a physical form mm. uh, when you start lacking things. But poverty exists with a person, whether they have money or not. You can, you can even give someone a million dollars yeah. and he wastes it in two months. Now that is poverty that has wasted the money. It wasn't just the problem that he didn't have money. No, he doesn't have the capacity to hold it and manage it. Before I leave this end, I want to be known as Africa's number one bragger. Please add that to my name, Wadamaya, Africa's number one bragger. The guy who brags about the beauty of Africa. The guy who goes around to brag about successful Africans. Yes, I take pride. In that, I'm excited because I made it to Uganda and I can't wait to show you why it's called the Pearl of Africa. I am here to brag about a young African. Is he a millionaire or billionaire? No, actually, I may mean, be, I mean, be moving to a billion dollars. I've never heard of this guy, but when I landed in Uganda, I asked my community that, hey, which Ugandan entrepreneur do you guys want me to feature? And most of the people recommended him. Huh? I'm by the names of Mr. And Ms. Chibundo, a Ugandan, a businessman trading in real estate, and now moving largely into agro-processing and value addition. Uh, I was born in Uganda, I've lived in Uganda all my life. Yeah. You've, you've never left the country? No, I travel in and out, but... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about, like, you, you left Uganda to study abroad? No, 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 no. All I've done and all I've achieved, I've achieved in Africa. Actually, I think I'm a living example of the fact that you can make it in Africa. He's a real estate developer. But developing residential homes is not his core business. So what is the core business then? No, I have quite a lot of commercial properties uh, in Uganda, uh, in various areas, uh, from commercial structures to now real estate housing structures for, for, for residential. Mm -hmm. I have quite a number of projects, quite a number. Can you believe that this guy built the replica of the White House right here in Uganda? When you look at the United States, I would say one of the best elements that has penetrated the African mind is Hollywood. Because our young children think that what is in Hollywood, that's the way they should live. And the signature mark of 90% of American movies is the White House. Yeah. So I was like, um, what can I do with the resources I have that can get majority of my fellow Africans and Ugandans per se start believing in themselves and the fact that we can make it here? And I was like, if I'm to put up my headquarters, let me make it like the White House to give them confidence. Someone passes it and is like, wow, it's just like the, the one in the States. So, you know, the mind is key. His house looks like a castle. When you look at the house I, I built, I live in a very big house on 11 acres. Yeah. But I, you know, a person needs only one room. I have like eight cars, but you can drive one car at a time. But why? That big house, a person can only live in one room. A person can only live on one bed. And even on the bed, you can only stay on one side of the bed. Mm -hmm. Equally soft contained and, and you can sit as it on sauna, steam bath. You have a sauna still in the bedroom? Yeah, we have sauna, steam bath, and you know. To me, I thought this guy has achieved everything. But when I asked him what is your biggest achievement, he told me establishing this agro-processing business right here in Uganda by adding value to the raw materials they produce in the country. You don't think that's incredible? <laughs> is going to be my biggest project because you see our economy is small mm. as Uganda. If I penetrate and take agro processed products beyond Uganda to the big economies where we can sign contracts in billions of dollars, I think I'll spread bigger and better and I'll be able 
to remit the money into the outgrowers who are Ugandan. So my plan forward is not individual but communal. In Ham Palms Villas, you got a football pitch. As you can see, I just scored a goal that you've never seen in your entire life. Which means that in this Villas, they got a football pitch. But he could be satisfied with a football pitch that he has built in his own estate. But can you believe it? This young guy is building a modern stadium in the city of Kampala. Like you can serve a lot of projects running and putting up a stadium for $200 million. Is it a private stadium? No, actually, the main effect of the stadium, it's, it's an expression to my fellow Ugandans that if I can do it, they can equally do it. And if we can independently and from an individual perspective,